now let's take a look at some other tips to uh, use more advanced settings and getting it lined up just right because you'll find out that has a, a fairly s strong impact on where it lands. So if you notice, I've taken some time to get my Saturn image lined up fairly well here. Now some of the tricks that I'm going to show you that might help you are to zoom in. Uh, typically you wouldn't present your image this way and when you save your image map the zoom settings are not saved in the final image. This is st strictly zooming in to help aid your eyes in lining up the outline over top of your image. Again the zoom settings are not saved so you can zoom in so that the planet takes up as much of your screen as you like and it won't save it. The next thing you can play with are the gamma and the contrast and what you're trying to do here is to find where the edge of the planet really is. Sometimes in poor seeing conditions it gets a little washed out or your camera has got a little bit too much dirt on it like mine usually do and so bringing up the gamma and the contrast can help you find the true edge of the ring. Sometimes you play with the brightness too depending upon what planet you're imaging. The other thing you can take a look at is the limb darkening compensation. It's abbreviated LD compensation right here. So the LD compensation, when you turn it on, will give you a sense for where the edge of the outline and the edge of the planet line up. So it doesn't impact the rings here, but if you turn it on and off and you don't see much uh, color variation or uh, grayscale gradation along the edge of the planet's disk, you probably got it pretty close. The other thing you want to do is uh, turn the outline on and off, kind of like a little blink comparison. That's this one on the bottom. And, and watch it as it comes and goes. And the other thing you're going to want to maybe do is change the color of the actual outline itself. So playing around with the settings here, the zoom, the gamma, the contrast, brightness, the LD compensation, the frame outline color, and the frame wire itself will help get you as close to a precise accurate measurement of where the actual disk is. Uh, moon transits, you'll see those reflected here as well, and those will help you tremendously in lining them up. WinJupos doesn't handle it, but it'll still work. I hope that I've demystified some of these things for you, and I hope that you find some value in it. Please provide some feedback, and in the next few tutorials, we'll be going through derotation and image map creation. Until then, master image map creation, and you will find it much easier to do the other things later on. Clear skies.